Joseph Lysett, the residence of Edward Riley Esquire, Wulu Mulu, near Sydney N. S. W. 1825, hand-colored aquatint and etching printed in dark blue ink. Australian print in the tradition of British decorative production. Joseph Lysett was a portrait and miniature painter, active in Australia. Lysett specialized in topographical views of the major towns of Australia, and some of its more dramatic landscapes. Lysett was born in Staffordshire, England, where he became a botanical artist. By 1810, Lysett was described by others as an engraver and as a drawer, he was also noted as being a painter of portraits and miniatures. Lysett had a de facto wife, Mary Stokes, known as Mary Lysett. Lysett was convicted of forgery on August 10, 1811, having been prosecuted by the injured party, the Bank of England. He was transported to Australia, sailing aboard the General Hewitt and arriving in Sydney on February 7, 1814. Lysett's first employment in Australia was as an artist for Absalom West and he reported in the October 1814 muster as a limner. West left the colony in December 1814 and Lysett had to find a new position. By May 1815 Lysett was employed in the police office. At this time Sydney was flooded by hundreds of skillfully forged five-shilling bills drawn on the postmaster. They were traced to Lysett, who was found in possession of a small copper plate press. Lysett was sent to Newcastle on the Lady Nelson, where he came to the attention of the commandant of the settlement, Captain James Wallace. Lysett drew up the plans for a church which Wallace projected and, when it was built in 1818, he painted the altarpiece, he is said to have also produced the three-light window which still survives in the Bishop's Vestry of Newcastle Cathedral. On the recommendation of the Commandant, Captain James Wallace of the 46th Regiment, Lysett was given a conditional pardon. While there he also painted Corroboree at Newcastle, the first known oil painting to depict an Aboriginal Corroboree at night. This painting has also been attributed to Wallace. Lysett painted at least 14 scenes depicting traditional cultural practices of the Awabakal people. The chief of the Newcastle tribe, Burigon, is shown in at least one of the works of the convict engraver, Walter Preston, which were based on Lysett's drawings. Collector's chest Collector's chest featuring Lysett's paintings. The chest is believed to have been presented to Lachlan Macquarie by Captain James Wallace, C.A. 1818 Captain James Wallace also involved Lysett in the design of two-seater and rosewood timber chests displaying natural history specimens from the Newcastle area. Lysett was responsible for painting eight of the twelve panels on these chests which depict views of Newcastle as well as copies of William Westall's views of Australian scenery. It is strongly believed that Wallace presented one of these chests to Governor Lachlan Macquarie as a gift around the year of 1818. The other chest's initial provenance is unknown, but it was purchased by William Dixon in London in 1937 and later bequeathed to the State Library of New South Wales where Macquarie's chest is also held. Lysett returned to Sydney and was allowed to practice his art, and in 1820 Governor Macquarie sent three of his paintings including a large view of Sydney to Earl Bathurst. It is generally believed that the absolute pardon which Lysett received on November 28, 1821 was a reward for these pictures. Many of his patrons seem to have been drawn from the military and public service elite, and included Commissioner John Thomas Bigga, his secretary Thomas Hobscott, and Macquarie's aide-de-camp John Watts. Lysett had possibly married in the colony, for on June 21, 1822 he advertised in the Sydney Gazette and New South Wales Advertiser that he intended to leave accompanied by his two daughters, Mary Ann and Emma. They sailed together in the Shipley on September 8, 1822. Lysett, J. Views in Australia, or, New South Wales and Van Diemen's Land delineated, in 50 views with descriptive letter press, by J. Lysett. London, J. Souter. MRB slash F980. 1 slash L. Although his later publication views in Australia suggest Lysett also visited Tasmania, there is no evidence of his actually travelling there. He returned to England in September 1822, having been granted an absolute pardon. With publisher John Souter, between July 1824 and June 1825, he issued views in Australia, or New South Wales and Van Diemen's Land in 13 parts published monthly. Each with two aquatent views of New South Wales and two of Van Diemen's Land with descriptive letterpress, and a supplement with maps of both colonies. By permission the series was dedicated to Bathurst. The parts began to appear in July 1824 at 7s. Plain and 10s. 60. Colored. With its complicated publishing history, the extent of Lysett's involvement in the entire production is unclear, and it does seem that the book was not successful. These views were reissued in a volume in 1825, that was reprinted in 1971. 
The 50 plates are colored in some copies and plain in others. Lysett died in Birmingham on February 9, 1828 and was buried in St. Mary's Churchyard, Birmingham. A penciled note and a copy of his views in the State Library of New South Wales, states that, when he was living near Bath, he was again arrested for forgery of some notes on the Stourbridge Bank. On being arrested he cut his throat, and when recovering in hospital he tore open the wound and killed himself. However, this is not confirmed. The property of the late Mr. James Squires, Kissing Point, New South Wales. Creator Lysett, Joseph, C.A. 1775-1828. Thanks for watching.